Yes. Okay, welcome to our 40th anniversary. Our, our founding member started this for some crazy reason and <laughs> got us all into uh, all these extra hours of uh, work, but uh, it fun. We've been having a great time with it. So anyway, today we thought we'd uh, uh, give you a review of what we've been doing and uh, uh, sort of things that we plan to do. And then we've got uh, the president down from uh, uh, the Welland uh, area to uh, give us uh, some certificates and, and tell us maybe what the uh, OGS as a national, or as a provincial organization is doing for us. So, um, so uh, thanks for coming. Our, we pretend there's 40 candles there. Oh, there's set one for each council. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, it's the little balls there. <laughs> They've got to count them all up. So. Anyway, we're uh, uh, videotaping this, but on YouTube, so that Colleen, hi Colleen, can uh, <laughs> see this uh, from Ottawa, and because uh, you couldn't make the trip down because of the winter storms and stuff. So, um, okay, so a couple things. Just uh, you know, every time we have one of these, we have to do some promotional things. But, um, we're really looking to increase the membership, and uh, uh, the OGS uh, office uh, or Ontario Ancestors office of. Uh, again, put together this uh, promotional deal. If you bring in a, uh, a family member or a friend or a cousin or a neighbor, uh, you'll get 50% uh, off and uh, the, uh, off the membership, basically. So um, um, that's your, the member's fees and you as well. So it's a good deal uh, to, to do that. And they can come in, join for a year, see what they like. Maybe we can get them in on one of our projects and get them to the type. We could use that. Um, anyway, that's the, the thing is just to get people in and get them involved and have a good time. So just mention the date. So um, it's yeah, the, over on the 15th. Right. So it's coming up in a month. And it'll be over. So you want to knock on those doors right away and send those emails out and promote the society. Basically, get people involved in the club and have fun. Um, so, and to encourage you to uh, renew your membership early, we have uh, uh, prizes. There will be a draw. Uh, uh, December 7th, the, the uh, email will go out as to who won it, but uh, if you register early, uh, you can get your name in for a draw. I've not at this particular event, but I've won an Ancestry uh, membership once, and uh, unfortunately then I renewed it and renewed it. It got me, <laughs> got me hooked on ancestry and all the other things. So, uh, but they are good, good prizes. So, uh, uh, get in early and get in often, as they say. Was, no, that's voting. So, um, okay. Uh, if for January and February we're going to have weather like this outside, so we've decided not to really have meetings in January and February um, because of the weather, and it's uh, uh, so it'll be easier. I think we have some YouTube. Things that you'll be, or not, uh, sorry, webinars that we're going to promote, and we'll tell you the topics, send out reminders of, about that. And uh, for March, we'll be back here in March, and we're hoping to have uh, uh, a guest speaker again from Detroit to come over and give a talk. Uh, so we just haven't finalized it yet, but we're working on that. Uh, so that uh, we'll let you know about that later. Uh, and in December, we don't normally have a, a meeting because it's just too busy a time for everybody. So we're. Uh, so we we're going to take a break for, uh, but we'll still be in touch with you. So, um, so the next meeting is uh, March 10th, which will be a Tuesday. It'll be in here, and come early. Go up to the French genealogy group and uh, uh, see all their uh, uh, literature and databases that, that they have up there. Uh, so, for 40 years, we've been uh, preserving and promoting and trying to educate, uh, help people. Uh, find their ancestors, and uh, I think you guys who started this, you've know, done a really good job. Um, I know I've uh, I started out. I think it was online, and I think Linda uh, Blen. Uh, I saw something online with hers and started reading it, and that's what got me involved in the membership uh, joining because of things that she had done that I, I saw, and she's still doing that kind of thing, uh, uh, typing up all of the. Uh, uh, information. Yeah, I think if you go into the library anywhere here, you'll see stuff that she's put together. So, uh, very prolific in that regard. Um, anyway, we'd like to thank everyone who's been involved in all of this all these years, and, and uh, basically giving to the the, uh, the the community in Essex and Windsor. Um, the last five years, uh, it's been active. It's been fun. Uh, I know I, um, I had. My students helping redo the uh, uh, the web pages. Uh, I took the credit for it. 
we, we had uh, development of the members only page, which we've, uh, I think, really, really put a lot of work into. Linda has been fantastic at taking over the members only uh, pages and uh, scanning material and putting it up there for you. Um, I don't know, Steve, are we like one of the, the most prolific in that area of having a large uh, members only pages? And, Yes, we got to talk about that. Though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Killing my server. <laughs> so. Keep doing it. We, okay, we will. We'll, we'll double down. <laughs> um, scanning, um, which we 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 now have like three scanners. We have uh, the use of the university scanner. We're um, uh, Steve Holton's down to talk about a microfilm scanner that we might be able to borrow. Uh, to digitize some of our uh, microfilm. Um, a lot of this costs money and, and time, and uh, that's what the membership dues uh, help us uh, buy these scanners and, uh, and sometimes donations as well. Uh, but that's, it's been fun. Uh, Malcolm and I uh, usually meet every week at the university to scan high school yearbooks, and right now we're doing St. John's registry books from 1802, uh, right up, uh, there are about 30 books from book 12. Um, the last book was 400 pages of uh, um, marriages. And interestingly enough, 95% uh, of the marriages registered were marriages of people from Detroit area or Michigan or, or Toronto. And uh, I think they came down here for, um, I think, looking at everyone that's been married. It could have been uh, age differences uh, or, or it could have been uh, they were looking for inexpensive or um, maybe they had different uh, religions, so they were coming over here to get married. So, so there's a number of reasons. We also think um, <coughs> these registries were not just marriages at the church, but at City Hall, because sometimes it's Windsor, sometimes the location is Sandwich, and, and sometimes they're married, uh, it was a ba Baptist marriage, say. So it may not have been at the church, but it might have been all the areas. Deborah may know more about it, and we could talk later, but uh, uh, it's interesting. I, I hope to research more about all of these, why there's so many Americans uh, 100 years ago being married in Windsor. So, so it's kind of fun. We're having a great time with it. Uh, other things, social media. We now have uh, Twitter accounts. We've got uh, 500 and some odd followers on Twitter. Uh, on Facebook, we have 632 followers. Uh, so we've got a lot of... Uh, um, more connections uh, with the, with the memberships and with the public as well. So, so it's uh, uh, anybody want to operate our Twitter account and Facebook account? <laughs> you, you can have fun with that. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, something to think about. We, or if you if you want to do Flickr or if you want to do Instagram, feel free. We've got the accounts. You just have to run them. So, uh, but we uh, uh, we can't do everything. So we could use help if you're interested. Uh, your books, like I mentioned, we're scanning, Malcolm and I are scanning your books and having a great time with it. Uh, um, Jim over there has uh, donated his yearbooks to us, uh, so we're getting a collection of yearbooks. The Windsor Public Library gave us a collection of, uh, recently just gave us a collection of uh, high school yearbooks. So we've got that that we're digitizing and putting into our, our uh, collection over at the new uh, uh, local history branch of the Windsor Public Library on uh, Sandwich Street at the Brock Public School. So, uh, if you haven't been there, it's uh, it's kind of nice. Uh, I think you you'd uh, we're in there every week now, reorganizing our collection. But uh, it's uh, usable and easy to get to. They have limited parking, so park on uh, Brock Street beside the church there. So that's a, a better place to go. Um, cemetery projects. We're we're going to hear about that later. Uh, if come what May, where's, where's Pat? Come May, we'll be back. Yeah. Weather's good. We'll be back in there digging the headstones, cleaning them up. So, yeah, we got our we got our whole team here, don't we? <laughs> all the cemetery team are here. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, we're all here. Uh, we'll hear more about that. E store. Uh, yeah, we've got more books uh, we discussed today to put on e store, and uh, um, I think sales are going not too badly, but uh, we hope to promote that more in the future. Um, and our new in the library location I just mentioned, uh, we're doing outreach. Anyone want to know what outreach means? What we're doing with that? We're okay. I don't. <laughs> but we're, we're we, as a society, we've joined as many of the other genealogical societies here in Essex County and even in uh, Michigan. Uh, we've got even uh, lo local history groups and, and museums. We're trying to 
be, be members, partner, uh, communicate with each other, share equipment, uh, share ideas, and get involved more. So we're really, really been pushing that. So uh, we're, we're a member of the SWAC, Southwestern Ontario Heritage Council, which is uh, all of the organizations. And we go at uh, quarterly meetings to, uh, to those events and uh, tell them what we're doing. And uh, it's, uh, again, we share ideas with, uh, with everyone else that way as well. So anyway, at this point, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to pass the, the uh, whatever the that, over to Linda. Linda. Okay. Uh, great, great. Yep. Okay. I'm not really sure why I'm up here because I think uh, David has kind of already said everything I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll go through these slides quickly. Um, I did want to mention that there is a, the PowerPoint presentation from the 35th anniversary is over there by the cake. If people want to take a look at it, it's going to be running all, all night while we're here. And uh, there's also a uh, binder a binder at the back that that has a, a number of the pictures that were taken for that PowerPoint presentation. So just another thing to take a look at. I also wanted to uh, recognize the charter members and the former presidents of the branch that are here with us tonight. So could you stand up and identify yourselves, please? I think we've got three right here in the second row. Stand up. Come on, stand up. We want to oh, recognize you. Hey. Well, you're, you're practical. Dora. Dora, Dora Pino, Betty Garrett, Marie Charbonneau, and Deborah Honor. Did anybody else? I was trying to think. Okay. No. Okay. Anyway, we'd like to thank you for starting us all up. Without you, we wouldn't be here today. So I, again, Dave's already said all this, so I'll just go quickly through. Um, he talked about our website, and right now it kind of looks like this. Um, we're quite pleased with the fact that now that you know we log, we can log in as our membership right right on this page, and you can get into the members only page that way very easily. You can get into the uh, e store directly from this page. We've got all of our indexes on the page, uh, and more have been added over the years. And this is uh, the current, uh, the members only. I could just put down the stuff that was at the bottom of the page. The pretty pictures aren't there, but it just shows you how many different categories we have and what we offer. And I'm sure you've all already, most of you have already been looking at these pages, so they're not new to you. But we do try to add things as quickly as we can. Um, the latest thing, it doesn't even show on this one because it just went up a few days ago, is church histories. We put some of the histories up there that we had in the library. Because really our plan is to make the library that's, that's in the Windsor Public Library a virtual library so that uh, people at a distance that can't come down to Windsor and take a look at what we have, they'll be able to see it up here. I know there's copyright issues that we have to be careful of, but whatever we can put up there, we'll put up there. And these are the scanning machines that Dave talked about. The one on the far left is uh, the newest one that we have, and it's, um, I can't remember the name of it, um, Solo 8. It, it takes pictures of the books, and it, uh, it keeps them in TIFF format, which is the format that uh, um, archivists tell us we should be using to make sure that we preserve everything the best that they can be preserved. The middle one is just a high-speed scanner, just if we have just pages out of a binder, for example, out of a family history binder, we can just whip them through there and they, they do a good job. And this is the super duper scanner that is they're using at the university. I probably was going to ask Dave if he wanted to talk about that. No, not, that's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then as far as the social media, this is our Facebook group, and I do have some numbers here. Oh, we currently have six, oh, what does it say? Oh, 623, so it's already gone up since I wrote this down. 623 members, and um, a lot of people are using this just to ask basic questions and looking for his family, for somebody that they grew up with or whatever, so it's been, it's been very, very successful. And uh, the YouTube channel, thanks to Cindy and the fact that she's recording so many of our sessions, the ones that we are allowed to record, 
they go up here. Uh, I would recommend though, because it took me a while to figure this out, when you first go on to the YouTube channel, it seems that the home button is pressed and you only see like one video and you wonder, well, where are all these videos that they were talking about? You have to click on the second tab that says videos and then you'll find there's about 39 videos that are up there now. And they're lots of fun to watch. And again, they're, they're really there so that the distance members can, can take part when they, when they can't be here. And the yearbook project, that, that's what I was going to ask David if he wanted to say anything about it, but you've kind of already, anything more you want to say? There's the uh, schools we, that we have up we there. We have over 500 uh, books scanned already and we have another 20 at least to scan. So it's, uh, but right now we're working on the uh, St. John's uh, registry book. So right. Because uh, the idea was that we would be scanning all of the ones in the Windsor Public Library we're kind of doing a partnership with them and then we'll give them the the digital so, copies as well yeah we're doing uh we're going to do uh quite a number of them for some high school reunions uh they've asked us to scan them so so that's a, a project we've got coming up so, so malcolm i'll need you <laughs> maybe a, a brief interjection on the yearbook project uh my uh daughter's friend is a member of the modern girls presentation at the university. She's doing a master's in history and they have used some of these uh, yearbooks because these are modern girls that grew up in the 20s and 30s in Windsor mm -hmm. and which is almost in our memory and so I gave them pictures of my, my mother, the clothing she was wearing and I wrote them up a story about her. They've got a, a bunch of women from that era and they credited our yearbook <coughs> project with being able to access some information on the modern girls. Mm. For the, by, they were obviously born in the early 1900s, so the 1920s and 30s, they were young women wearing uh, modern clothing and they, those young women went out and got a job. They, they didn't have to stay home sitting under their father's mm. thumb waiting for a man who might come courting them. <coughs> they could go out in the world and meet men. They might have a date and they might go dancing and they might even uh, discover a cigarette. All these things that the modern girls discovered in the 1920s, 30s, etc. Because suddenly, after the first war, before the second war, they were uh, released for a whole range of reasons. Of course, a lot of them uh, got jobs. So all that stuff that women today can do. I mean, even today, because uh, the uh, whole the whole change in society. And, Part of it's reflected in those yearbooks from that era. And, and so they credited our scanning project, David, I'm ignoring me, <laughs> but he, he's, they credited in part, they did other things, but our scanning project was one of the things, so, and they mentioned the OGS scanning project. Ah. So we, we waved our flag that night. Good, good. Okay, we have other projects. Uh, the cemetery project. I think there's some people that are on their hands and knees here that are here in the audience today. Where are they? Oh, there you So Pat might have anything to say about this. Well, I'll be loud, Pat. Be loud, yes, with my hoarse voice. Um, I'm the cemetery coordinator, and I know cemeteries can seem like morbid places to many people but for family history researches, they are a treasure and a gold mine. And since the 1980s, in order to preserve the valuable information found on tombstones and cemetery markers, our branch has published the transcriptions of over 60 cemeteries in Windsor and Essex County. So what's happened over the last five years, a team of four to six individuals, and here I'll ask them to stand up, there's rows this past year, anyway, Rosemary, Leanne, Tammy, David, and Martin. Did I miss anybody? Oh, oh yeah. David, yeah. And Martin. This is the group that's been going out this past summer to, uh, on their hands and knees, not even with their hands and knees, but. Um, We've gone out weekly in warmer seasons to transcribe even more markers because the county and Windsor are not done. And over the past five years, our hard work has produced five more publications 
approximately 8,700 entries. And these are five sections of Heavenly Rest Cemetery. That's what the focus has, excuse me, has been the last few years. And in total, we now have the information from over 108,000 individuals buried in Windsor and Essex County. So surely some of your ancestors are in this information. And with the updating of our website in recent years, this information, as Linda had mentioned, is now available online to members. And there's two more additional sections from Heavenly Rest Cemetery, which consists of over 3,000 more markers, um, have been photographed and are in the process of being typed up and or indexed um, for future publication. And hopefully one of them will be ready by the spring of 2020. So the latter half of this past summer, I think it was early August when we started, we moved to tackle Windsor Grove Cemetery and I'm sure a lot of you have seen the articles in the news. Um, it was established in 1856 and is a real challenge for us to, uh, to transcribe. Thus far, we have photographed close to 3,000 markers um, from Windsor Grove and from which we'll be typing up the transcriptions. So our intent of the branch is to upload all of these photographs to the internet at some point in time but we're still evaluating exactly where we're gonna put them because we wanna make sure that in the long term, they are still accessible to, um, to everyone and they don't end up, for example, on a website that goes down and or goes belly up and we can't, uh, people can't access the, uh, the photographs and information. Great, anything? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. And, uh, this is new within the last five years. Uh, again, if you go through our Essex Branch webpage, you can go directly to the e-store, and this is where you'll get to the Essex Branch. There are um, quite a number of, let me just see here, there's 323 items under 10 different categories. And the categories are similar to the categories that you have in the um, members only. So the, this is for people that are not members and who want the information or want the documentation and they can buy it through here and, and any money that we get from there helps us in, with our operating expenses. And uh, David again has already mentioned about the library. When I first joined uh, the uh, council, uh, the library was in one place. It was in the Windsor Public Library on the second floor and it was all in one um, numerical order so all of our collection was all together then they built uh, on the far left the local history room and they put the local history part of our collection which is basically just the Essex County part uh, and some Kent and some Detroit but mostly just Essex County into that section and the rest of our collection was just on the outside of the room still all there uh, it was a great room for people to be able to visit to do research and Tom Bajdick, the genealogy librarian, is fantastic. His staff is fantastic and they've been able to help. And now we're in the new, the new, um, lo it's called the local history uh, branch. It used to be the, the sandwich branch. The sandwich branch has been moved elsewhere. It's the John Muir Library now on uh, uh, no. Mill, Mill Street. So this is just a picture I took of uh, Tom in the new place. That's just the computer area, but on the other side of it is all the uh, all the collection. And we're in the process of putting it. When they moved it from the one place to this place, uh, it didn't really get all in the right order. Mm -hmm. So we've been going once a week to try to get it all back into one order again. So they're all there, but another week or so before we, we have it all together. And talking about the community events, the outreach, um, the last few years we've gone to the Fergus Scottish Festival. I personally didn't go to it, but I think Cindy, Cindy's been there both times. Uh, where is Fergus? Well, near Guelph. It's near Guelph area. Anyway, they've had uh, you know family history people there. <coughs> 
And this was at the international plowing match that was in Chatham. And we um, shared a table with uh, Sarnia and uh, Kent, or Lampton and Kent. Uh, we had a uh, presentation at the Windsor Pride Fest, which was two years ago or more, maybe three. <laughs> it was hot and it was a tent and it was really hot, but we were there. And we've gone to different family history fairs. The one on the left is the one in Chatham and the mm -hmm. one on the right, we had a family history day at, at the Windsor Public Library. So that uh, was well attended. And we've done many road trips uh, for the last five years. The far left stagecoach, that's from the Comber Museum. And the uh, picture on the right is from the French Society, which is just across the hall and up on the second floor. It's just that they didn't open today because of the weather. But they are only open on Tuesdays if you do have French background. And we've been to Eckers, which is the Essex Community Heritage Research Society, and it's in the town of Essex. That's the top picture. And the bottom picture is uh, at Ayers, which is the Harrow Early Immigrant Research Society. They have a lot of uh, really good information there too. I'm not sure what that other picture is of the... the oh, that, that's at the Burton. Burton. We did go to Burton, but we forgot to bring a camera, so we didn't take any pictures. So <laughs> <laughs> luckily somebody had a picture from Burton. And um, we've been to Kingsville too, and it was a really, really bad day that day in terms of weather. And we had very few came up, and the, again, the camera didn't make it. So. So times have changed over the years. One thing remains the same, and that's a commitment to preserve, promote, and educate the community about family history and the role Ontario ancestors have played to ensure the future generation knows its roots. And with that, um, I think that's all I have to say. Yeah, that's a short review of the activities of the Essex branch, and now we are very honored to have the president of the Ontario ancestor, Steve Fulton. He's here with us tonight, and I'm pleased to present him to you to say a few words. Steve. Um, well, first of all, uh, thanks for coming tonight. Uh, it was, I know yesterday and last night was a challenge, and Cindy's telling me to stand right here. <laughs> How about right here? All right. There we go. We're good? Yeah. All right. We're good. Uh, congratulations to the branch from 40 years. Uh, boots on the ground. That's my theme for people who know me. Uh, that's what you all are. Your boots on the ground. And you can't get that online. And that is what the value of local groups and small groups uh, is about. And knowing and people connect and try to uh, connect with their ancestors. They may have moved away and, and trying to reestablish that connection. And when they reach out to communities like this and find people like yourself, that's a great tool uh, to do that. And as a society, we recognize that. And I try to model that. Uh, what I do, uh, I just don't come and, you know, uh, wave the flag or that, but I try to be involved and to help and Cindy and, and my wife Diane and a few of us have been to Fergus and slugging it. Uh, I know Cindy's car drives very well off road. Uh, <laughs> I had to teach her how to drive, but we managed to get her through. But it was, uh, it was great times and that's what we're doing is to connect with people. But just a few things, I know uh, they both covered a few things and I think I've lost my page and we'll just, uh, I'll just uh, go as best we can. But um, some of the things that the society is trying to do, our job is about empowerment and that's what I believe. And David and I and my wife were down at the library or the university, I'm still not clear where I exactly was, <laughs> the university. But we, we've gotten, a, the society has acquired a microfilm scanner and uh, it's about getting in and, 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 you know, getting access to records that are just ones or twos, and, but they're of value. Um, and I know there's some records down here. Curren currently, the microfilm scanner is in Brantford at the Brantford Public Library. 
and um, I just found out the other day we've already crossed a quarter of a million images with that little machine and we're aggressively working on you know getting it online and and it's been to North Bay it's been to Brantford it's been in Niagara uh, and we're making plans for it to come down into this area as well and to digitize uh, some of these microfilm reels and and that's what it's about it's about doing genealogy not just doing my genealogy like I barely ever get time to do that but uh, but it's doing genealogy for future generations and that's what I believe our society and our branches are about um, we've just this what was it this year or last um, we started a tri partnership with Library and Archives Canada, Family Search, and the Society, and we're digitizing all the Vernon City directories across the province. And they're going to be hosted on Family Search's website. Um, and I just recently checked, there's more going up as we're speaking. So uh, there's about 1,300 volumes, and by the time it's done, we're looking at a quarter of a billion names going online. Uh, for doing this kind of stuff so your support your encouragement at a branch level is is awesome and us as a society we're trying to get out there to support uh, you and other branches we have branches from here in Essex I, I just have to position myself because I'm always saying down in Essex but now I'm in Essex so you know we I've traveled this year we've gone to Thunder Bay We've gone to Manitoulin Island where we don't have a branch, but we still support that local genealogy group because that's what we should be doing anyways. And that's what it's about. Uh, day in and day out is connecting and helping to connect people. Advocacy is another thing that we uh, are big on, especially when it comes to cemeteries and protecting them because, you know, who's going to do it when we're gone? And, and protecting the cemeteries and you know the group that's doing all that cemetery work I'm watching it on Facebook or, or Twitter all the time and it's great work because who else is going to do it it's just going to disappear it's just going to be another lost cemetery and it's that it's just so much value and people appreciate that when they can connect like that so as a society our job is about empowerment our job is to support or encourage promote fight for the rights of you know family historians um, but also our job is to listen and if people have concerns or people have questions um, I'm always there or the board is there or our staff are there to to answer those questions um, Cindy has lots of ideas all the time and she's draining on me all the time <laughs> Uh, don't listen to anything she says about that but um, it's it's good it's good stuff and we can see it continuing to grow people want to be connected people are trying to understand and there's some of us in this room that have done it for 20 years 30 years you know even longer than that but there's brand new people walking in the door who do, don't have a clue you know how do they belong how do they get onto this planet and there we've got to encourage them along and they're going to make mistakes and we just need to keep encouraging them and providing them with the resources so the last few things i'll just say is uh membership like they said is currently on the grow our family campaign i see lots of existing members bringing in new members i think as every genealogist that's our responsibility is to teach new people because eventually we're going to have to pass our research off to someone else. So what a great opportunity to do that and to teach. And then you're all invited to our monthly webinars. If you don't, uh, if you didn't know about that, they go on the first Thursday of every month. You can sit on your computer in your pink bunny slippers and just sit and watch them. You have pink bunny slippers. The way you <laughs> laughed at me. I was me. hoping that you weren't going to raise that issue. <laughs> Gosh, there are no secrets in this. We're genealogists. Don't keep anything from us. No, there are some things I share, but. <laughs> but there's lots of things, lots of member advantages that you can take, uh, take advantage of uh, that we've just brought on to this year that will help you. Um, 
you know, fix photos, to learn more about DNA and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it. Uh, we're, we're busy, um, sometimes too busy, but that's okay too, because we know that we, we need to encourage people uh, to keep plugging away and uh, in what we're doing. So, and in, good thing you mentioned that because it was on my list, but <laughs> my wife in the back uh, just put up the big C letter. Um, and of course, um, I always like to remind people that we have an annual conference. This year it's in Hamilton, uh, June 5, 6, and 7th. And the really nice thing about the conference this year uh, is the tip of scale with speakers. We do have a couple that are coming from overseas, but we're really tipping the scales to local. The kind of local speakers, Canadian speakers, Ontario-based speakers. Um, which is going to be really good, but we're going to have also the same uh, beginner, uh, intermediate, and advanced for everybody walking in the door. So there's going to be a flavor for everyone, and conference is always a great time because you're among your people. It's not like you're sitting at the kitchen table and the kids are trying to shove more mashed potatoes in your mouth so you can stop talking about it. We want to hear it. So thanks again for coming, and I hope to talk to any of you once we cut that cake, I am. We're going to do the certificate. Right. Yeah. 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 Of all of the uh, mem uh, uh, locations that you visit, someone must have a favorite project on the go that you would like all of us to do. What's that favorite project that we don't know about? That you well, thank you for reminding me because I was going to make an announcement and I almost forgot it. <laughs> favorite project. Which one? Everyone to do. <laughs> That's not really fair. <laughs> well, okay, give us three then. <laughs> there is so much. What one some of the projects that I'm seeing is people just knocking on doors of, of local communities and saying, "Hey, what resources do you have?" You know what I mean? And and trying to build a, an index of resources and information because to me, on a provincial level on a national level and on an international level when we have people writing in from Sydney, Australia because their family came from this area, what's the first thing they're going to ask? Where's the stuff? You know what I mean? In, 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 in a very worldwide way we are now, uh, we need to know where this stuff is. So if if that is the one thing I would encourage people to do is let's just find out where the stuff is. It doesn't matter if they got it or we got it or they got it. Let's stop being silos and let's stop being sandboxes and let's build a beachfront and let's, you know, work together to, you know, tell the world that, hey, you know, Essex has got all this stuff, and this is how you find it, and this is how we're going to help you find it. Thank you for the answer. You're very welcome. And on that note, thank you for reminding me. One of our major things that we do is we're a major stakeholder at the Archives of Ontario. They have recognized that the Ontario Genealogical Society is one of the most important partners that they have. With that, uh, they are a government body and they've got all sorts of rules uh, and which they're very jealous of us because sometimes we kind of follow the, the, the thing where we'd rather ask for forgiveness than, you know, really permission in what we do. And we can digitize and get stuff online very quickly, like within a day. We've done it. And uh, I just found out from the chief archivist who I met yesterday at the Remembrance Day service at Queen's Park that he's actually now signed the agreement. Uh, and I can boldly say this because I've been told by him and I signed it, so we're good, um, that the Archives of Ontario, we're going to be partnering with them and they have over a half a million images of township papers for the entire province. So I'll give you just a second to absorb that. And it's for every county. So what we're going to be doing is making it a priority. If, if any of you uh, dealt with the IOOF on the Society's website, you can actually go do a search and then download the document. 
the society used to sell it, but we're actually giving it away for free to members now. Uh, we're going to do the exact same thing with the township papers. So what we're going to do is we're going to be reaching out to branches and volunteers. And really what we want to do is create an index because the archives came to us saying, OK, we did this, but what do we do with it? Well, my answer immediately was give it to us <laughs> and we'll just figure out a plan from there. So that's coming down. So a half a million records uh, are going to be for township papers uh, as well. So that's really another one of our really strong things that we're trying to do is to drive our resources, drive our digitization and get that information out there. So yeah, that's what that. I hope that answered your question. Yeah, thank you very much. You're very welcome. And now who am I giving this to? Who wants to come up? You can all come up. The whole Who's the team? Up. Let's bring the team up here. Yeah. And do you want to do the photo? <laughs> all right. Who's doing Someone the photo? Take a yeah, I my all right. <laughs> one of you guys, and then I'm going to want another one. Okay, I'll, I'll, there. I'll stand up. Okay. Okay. You know, first, first you guys, everyone look here, smile, and then get in there. Yes, sir. <laughs> and, well, so let me say what I'm going to say first before I get into that. <laughs> Would you please join the? Oh, oh I see. A, I see a separate picture though, right here. Okay. Yes, see. I see. A, yes, a, but you have to look here nicely and oh, nice and close. Don't break Good. Phone. Well, I'm, I'm working on. It. I know Cindy's value. Okay. On behalf of the society and the board. We'd like to present a 40-year certificate to the Essex branch for the continual community service that they're doing. So congratulations. Everyone will be happy. Watch your pinky finger. I think I missed it. All right. Okay, make sure those pictures work. I don't know how this piece get it, Dee? Oh, okay, hang on. Diane's going to grab a shot. Here. Okay. Good. Okay, she's going to make sure these pictures work. Thanks, got it. Oh, yeah, but I don't know. Now we've got to do the door prizes. Okay. Door prizes. We're doing the door prizes now. We could do some. Easy now. Not that much. We're going to do the door prizes. Just a second. My camera's broken. Sure, why not? Talk loud, do it right Does here. Everybody have a blue ticket. No, no, okay, we need to get one, get more, two more. Don't forget, we've got to put them in the basket too. I just wanted to share a little joke that I read on the Bruce County Genealogical Newsletter this week. You have one? And it was a picture. And on one side is the swear jar, and there's only about four coins in the swear jar. But on the other side is the uh, can't keep my mouth shut book of genealogy, and the family's mad about it, and it's overflowing. <laughs> <laughs> I missed some of that. Do you want to tell everybody what the prizes are and maybe who donated them so that they know? The majority of them. Okay, I don't really know the new ones that came tonight. So those are from the society office. So there's a family tree maker, which was donated by family tree maker. <laughs> and we've got the DNA yep. kits that we're donating, a, a DNA kit. But there's a whole bunch of other DNA kits that OGS themselves are donating, Ontario ancestors are donating. Um, this looks by Betty. Garrett. Family tree maker, Ooh. Betty Garrett, uh, donated that. There's some books bunch of books good mm -hmm. genealogy books and we've got what are we doing with the French just maybe tell people Packet. that they've been donated from the French Society and they're welcome to grab one the uh, green books on the corner of that table were donated by the French Society uh, there um, every page is a family tree of a French surname 
and it's they these are people that are from the air this area maybe some from Detroit as well it sort of was I think they said it was done during one of the celebrations the 400th celebration of Cadillac's landing or something like that so every page has a family history so if you have any French ancestry feel free to take one of those books because they're offered so what we'll do is uh Cindy will pick a I'm gonna make sure mine's on top and uh, we're going to let you just pick whatever you want off, off that table but the green are for, for everybody so just oh. come on Tammy Has somebody not got one Tammy does it oh yes get one well then you got to put it back in here <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it might have been here. Oh, did you pick it? <laughs> zero, zero, 11. Woohoo! Go oh, on. Betty. Betty, help yourself. No. Go and help him. <laughs> I'll let her pick the Oh, okay. I'll let Betty pick the next one. Pick. Maybe take it before you she goes. Go and pick what you want. Okay, that's two zero zero nine. I can check mine. Two zero zero nine. Yep, zero zero nine. Okay. Two zero zero nine. Yeah. Go pick the new number. Yep. Malcolm. Yeah, so give me that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheating. yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. You think he would do that? Just yell it out. Okay. The next number is 2013. Oh. 2013. That's me, I think. Yep. Okay. 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 Let's retire that one. Yeah. Run. 2022. There you go. Two zero two zero. Oh, it's not yours. Two zero two zero. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's me. <laughs> I told you. You did. Yes. Okay. So I gotta pick one. And then I'm giving this to Cindy so I can go get my present. <laughs> Two zero one seven. Yeah. Yay! <coughs> we're getting a backlog there yet? All right, where do you want to pull the? Okay. Zero zero three. Yay, Robert! I get to pick it. Here, pull the other one. <laughs> Zero zero two. Me. Yay. <laughs> okay. Are we getting a? Oh, you want to pull one, Judy? Yeah. Okay. We have anything left over there? Oh yes. Well, we no, I'm just, I'm just gonna switch. Um, membership. How are we making it? We got something left there? Or? Just to remind you, if you didn't win an ancestry kit, we do have them for sale on the back table. They're ninety dollars. That includes tax. Oh. Eighty dollar off. Eighty nine. <laughs> we just took a dollar off. Okay. Eighty nine dollars. That includes the shipping. Zero zero eight is the next number. Uh, pick a different number. Zero zero twelve. Two zero twelve. Sorry. <laughs> Two zero one five. 
I think we got what, three more things left. Three more. Yeah. Oh, you know who this is? Probably. Two zero one four. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Some nice big tickets. Yeah. Come and pick a ticket. I think we're down away anyway. Let's do one more. I think there's one more. We have one more. And please help yourself to those green books. Any French backgrounds? Is there still something left? Two things. Okay. Two things? Two zero zero six. Okay. That's fine. She probably doesn't need it. She probably doesn't need it. They can use it for us. The last one, I think. Two zero two three. I think that's everybody. Well, is that everything? I don't think so, no. I think that's Is everything taken? You got four people and four problems, right? Say thank you for coming. <laughs> okay, thank you all for Kate. coming. So let's have Cake. Cake. Some cake and there's coffee, uh, lemonade, water, and grapes for those that do not want to partake in the cake. <laughs> Over there, so help yourself. Thank you. You're not going to have a picture of somebody cutting the cake? Oh, yeah.